to it's an read. ACAT. So what have you done with it? It's an ACAT. ACAT AR-10, Rock yeah. River Arms. Yeah. Um, Jeremy gets them because they take the SLR mags, not the FAL mags. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of good because the SLR mags, I think, are better, yeah. better mag. So, so he wanted one in Arctic to go with it. How many of these has he got now? You know, I don't know. You've done about four or five, though. Hang at on. least. What are we doing here? There we go. Oh. Yeah, it's a weird bolt release. Right? Yeah, this one down here. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to push it up, but right. beautiful. Yeah, the mag release is still. A little bit stiff from the um, got a bit of paint in there, but yeah, it'll wear out over time. Yeah, nice, yeah, fantastic. A couple of battle packs of South African through it, and it should come loose. Yeah, because what uh, we're going to do is this rifle here. This is an Australian, by the way, ignore him. I like <laughs> this rifle here is one that we're going to put the British furniture on and, oh, the, and the suit site, the, the key one. I thought you're still pointing at that one. That, that's right. There's the original one that Tony refurbed with the Slazenger wood. Did a magnificent job, so we're going to sexy this one up. The, the metal works shit. What are you going to actually do? Are you going to strip it down and... Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll completely pull it apart. Yeah. Um, give it a light sandblast and uh, you know, grip blast, and then I'll redo it. The question is, do you want it parkerized or, or black? Well, whatever's closest to the original. Okay, parkerised, yeah. Yeah, parkerised yeah. would be better. Still, it's not actually parkerising, but the paint, yeah. unless you're a total yeah. expert, you'd never know. Right. Um, no, that'd be good. Stick the black furniture in on. In fact, I often say, you know, if they had had the modern, they would, spec paints they'd do it that back way. then, they would have done it in there Absolutely anyway. right, yeah. yeah. She's pretty battered, but we think the barrel looks okay. We won't make yeah, sure it. I thought it, I think it looked alright to me. I could still detect rifling reasonably clearly. So. But she's had a hard life. It must have been a recruit rifle, I think. So that's, that's Tony's project while I'm overseas. I expect great things. What do you reckon? Well, I could do with a clean, but yeah. then I've never come across one that well, couldn't do with a clean. We've still got a good barrel floating around somewhere too, yeah. from the other one, so. Actually, yeah. the rifling looks all right. Yeah, have a look from the other end, it's like generally peer down the, makes it a bit easier. You're right, it's pretty dirty. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, I think most of the um, deterioration is just from sitting around rather than actually been taken out and used. Oh, it looks like a bloody recruit depot rifle to me. It's been dropped off the assault course a million times and cleaned every freaking day, so yeah. it's pretty worn out. I mean, the, wo the woodwork hasn't been really thumped around. It mm. hasn't got, you know, rack marks. Mm. So I would say that it's, um, you know, any sort of wear and that's just really from being right. sitting around rather than being used. Oh, well, it'll be transformed by the time I get back. <laughs> yeah, you won't recognise it. My stray. And one final thing, I've got a, a tanky um, hat that goes with the DAC, another DAC tunic, uh, Armoured Core. Picked this up here in New Zealand. It's, um, you know, it's, it's worn, uh, it's good gear, it's all original. It's got the throat microphone and uh, headphones. Quite a sophisticated system for its time, and I'm just farting around deciding whether I'm going to put it on a full scale mannequin. At the moment, it's on a half shell. I've hung the pants off just to see what they look like, so there's no, they're not padded out at all, and put the tropical boots. So I think I probably will stick this up as a full mannequin. Trouble is that these are, this is, these are short. These guys of this generation were little bastards. I'm 5'11", and there's no way I'm going to get into that tunic. So what I need to do is find a mannequin that's kind of for adolescence rather than a modern one, which they all tend to be made for six foot supermodels. So that's something else which I'll get on with before I go. I've got shit everywhere, and I've got about 10 days to get it squared away, put everything in storage, get rid of all the pistols and things, which is while they're out, remove them from the location, so that if we do get bargled, they're not going to get away with anything that's going to get me into trouble. Talk to you soon.